So, you want to play Marvel Strike Force, but you don't know where to start. I think I can help you with that. Marvel Strike Force is a 5v5 strategy RPG featuring some of your favorite Marvel characters. Heroes and villains assemble together on your roster to be able to take on multiple game modes, both single player and with friends. The game is free to download with plenty of options if you feel the need to spend money. If you're unfamiliar with Hero Collector games, Hero Collector games are games where you build a roster of different good and bad guys in order to face off against various campaigns, challenges, events, and other players in strategy-based combat. Each character is unique with different character models, abilities, and synergies with different teams. I'm certain you'll be able to find your favorites among this list and more characters are added every month. Just remember, not all characters are created equal and some are significantly stronger than others. As you collect characters, you'll want to collect teams of characters, characters that work together very well that you may remember from movies, TV shows, or comic book storylines. The Asgardians, the Symbiotes, and even Hydra. Your first experience with these characters will be using them in campaigns, following the storyline to accrue additional resources and characters to make your roster stronger, while also paying fun attention to the overall story of Marvel Strike Force, building your roster, and completing harder and harder content for better and better resources and rewards. These characters you unlock are usable in many different game modes, including Blitz, a game mode where you can use your entire roster to fight against different types of teams that other players have built in order to accrue points and gain various character shards and ability materials. Let's take a quick look at what fights in this game look like. As mentioned before, fights in this game are five versus five character with the ability to speed up how quickly you see the fights go on, as well as use automatic fighting to allow the characters to just do what they're going to do. This fight has the Black Order led by Thanos versus a slight hybrid team of Guardians of the Galaxy characters. You'll notice there are two Thanoses here because there are multiple Thanoses in the game. Every single player is a commander and everyone has access to the same pool of characters. Different teams have different strengths and different weaknesses. This changes every week, every month, and multiple times over a year. As you build your roster, determining which teams are the strongest, which teams are the weakest, and which teams will have value throughout time, is one of the most important things you can learn as a player. Aside from combat, you may notice that the animation and graphic style of this game are slightly better than the average mobile game. It has the option of low graphics mode for phones and devices that are relatively out of date and new graphics mode, which really lets you feel like you are part of the action. And now I'll let you watch the rest of the battle, or skip ahead to the next section. That's up to you.
In addition to Blitz, there are various game modes like Arena, where you're placing yourself against your opponents, other players who started roughly at the same time as you, to compete for in-game currency, which are known as power cores, and arena shards. Many different game modes have their own store or shop where you can accrue currency to exchange for character shards, ability materials, and other things you'll need throughout the game. Arena is the most competitive game mode in Marvel Strike Force, pitting you against other players to see whose team is the strongest and who understands the strategy of the game the best. Outside of single player content, you will end up joining an alliance. You and 23 other players, paired roughly based on your power and abilities, will be able to work together to grow your own rosters, aid each other's roster growth, invest in things like Stark Tech, and complete alliance-based game modes. One of the most common and popular alliance game modes in this game are alliance raids. Alliance raids will pit you versus a super campaign of sorts where you and your friends will have to destroy different impediments to the end of the fight and ultimately fight the big boss himself, Ultimus. Recently added to the game, a live PvP arena where you can complete objectives using different characters from your roster live while facing off against another player doing the same thing. It's for this reason that building a wider roster as opposed to only working on a few characters will end up benefiting you in the long run. And finally, we have Dark Dimension the end game bosses of this game, for lack of better term. As you get stronger, you'll be able to compete in incredibly difficult game modes, usually requiring some of the strongest characters in the game, or at least the most investment you've ever placed in a character before. Hopefully, those investments will pay off as you will get a ton of new resources and special characters. That's it for an introduction to Marvel Strike Force. If you enjoyed this video, follow along. More videos are coming, including a brand new series dedicated to showing players how to start the game.